Yahushua is the Messiah Psalms 2, verse 11 Serve Yahweh with fear, and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the Son, lest he be angry, and ye perish from the way, when his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are all they that put their trust in him. Proverbs 30, verse 4 Who hath ascended up into heaven, or descended? Who hath gathered the wind in his fists? Who hath bound the waters in a garment? Who hath established all the ends of the earth? What is his name, and what is his son's name, if thou canst tell? John 5, verse 39 Search the scriptures. For in them ye think ye have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. These are the prophecy of Yahushua in the Torah. Deuteronomy 18, verse 15 to 19 Yahweh thy Elohim will raise up unto thee a prophet from the midst of thee, of thy brethren, like unto me. Unto him ye shall hearken. According to all that thou desiredst of Yahweh thy Elohim and Horeb in the day of the assembly, saying, Let me not hear again the voice of Yahweh my Elohim, neither let me see this great fire any more, that I die not. And Yahweh said unto me, They have well spoken that which they have spoken. I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren, like unto thee, and will put my words in his mouth. And he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. And it shall come to pass, that whosoever will not hearken unto my words which he shall speak in my name, I will require it of him. John 12, verse 44 to 50 Yahushua cried and said, He that believeth on me, believeth not on me, but on him that sent me. And he that seeth me seeth him that sent me. I am come a light into the world, that whosoever believeth on me should not abide in darkness. And if any man hear my words, and believe not, I judge him not, for I came not to judge the world, but to save the world. He that rejecteth me, and receiveth not my words, hath one that judgeth him, the word that I have spoken, the same shall judge him in the last day. For I have not spoken of myself. But the Father which sent me, he gave me a commandment, what I should say, and what I should speak. And I know that his commandment is life everlasting, whatsoever I speak therefore, even as the Father said unto me, so I speak. Isaiah 59, verse 20 And the Redeemer shall come to Zion, and unto them that turn from transgression in Jacob, saith Yahweh. As for me, this is my covenant with them, saith Yahweh. My spirit that is upon thee, and my words which I have put in thy mouth, shall not depart out of thy mouth, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, nor out of the mouth of thy seed's seed, saith Yahweh, from henceforth and forever. Isaiah 53, verse 1 to 12 Who hath believed our report? And to whom is the arm of Yahweh revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant, and as a root out of a dry ground, he hath no form nor comeliness. And when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of men. A man of sorrows, and acquainted with grief, and we hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of Elohim, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way. And Yahweh hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed, and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before her shearers is dumb, so he openeth not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment, and who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off out of the land of the living, for the transgression of my people was he stricken. And he made his grave with the wicked, and with the rich in his death. Because he had done no violence, neither was any deceit in his mouth. Yet it pleased Yahweh to bruise him. He hath put him to grief. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, he shall see his seed, he shall prolong his days, and the pleasure of Yahweh shall prosper in his hand. He shall see of the travail of his soul, and shall be satisfied, by his knowledge shall my righteous servant justify many. For he shall bear their iniquities. Therefore will I divide him a portion with the great, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong. Because he hath poured out his soul unto death, and he was numbered with the transgressors. And he bare the sin of many, and made intercession for the transgressors. 
Daniel 9, verse 23 to 27 At the beginning of thy supplications the commandment came forth, and I am come to show thee. For thou art greatly beloved, therefore understand the matter, and consider the vision. Seventy weeks are determined upon thy people and upon thy holy city, to finish the transgression, and to make an end of sins, and to make reconciliation for iniquity, and to bring in everlasting righteousness, and to seal up the vision and prophecy, and to anoint the most holy. Know therefore and understand, that from the going forth of the commandment to restore and to build Jerusalem unto the Messiah the prince shall be seven weeks, and threescore and two weeks, the street shall be built again, and the wall, even in troublous times. And after threescore and two weeks shall Messiah be cut off, but not for himself, and the people of the prince that shall come shall destroy the city and the sanctuary. And the end thereof shall be with a flood, and unto the end of the war desolations are determined. And he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week, and in the midst of the week he shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease, and for the overspreading of abominations he shall make it desolate, even until the consummation, and that determined shall be poured upon the desolator. Psalms 110, verse 1 to 6 Yahweh said unto my master, Sit thou at my right hand, until I make thine enemies thy footstool. Yahweh shall send the rod of thy strength out of Zion, rule thou in the midst of thine enemies. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power, in the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning, thou hast the dew of thy youth. Yahweh hath sworn, and will not repent, thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. Yahweh at thy right hand shall strike through kings in the day of his wrath. He shall judge among the heathen, he shall fill the places with the dead bodies. He shall wound the heads over many countries. Matthew 22, verse 41 to 46 While the Pharisees were gathered together, Yahushua asked them, saying, What think ye of the Messiah? Whose son is he? They say unto him, The son of David. He saith unto them, How then doth David in spirit call him Master, saying, Yahweh said unto my Master, Sit thou on my right hand, till I make thine enemies thy footstool. If David then call him master, how is he his son? And no man was able to answer him a word, neither durst any man from that day forth ask him any more questions. Hear Yahushua wisdom in the scriptures. No man ever came with so much wisdom. No man ever broke down scriptures like he did. He is the Messiah, that was to come. Yahushua, will sit on the throne of King David as prophesied Ezekiel 37, verse 24 And David my servant shall be king over them. And they all shall have one shepherd, they shall also walk in my judgments, and observe my statutes, and do them. Samuel 7, verse 12 to 17 And when thy days be fulfilled, and thou shalt sleep with thy fathers, I will set up thy seed after thee, which shall proceed out of thy bowels, and I will establish his kingdom. He shall build an house for my name, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. I will be his father, and he shall be my son. If he commit iniquity, I will chasten him with the rod of men, and with the stripes of the children of men, but my mercy shall not depart away from him, as I took it from Saul, whom I put away before thee. And thine house and thy kingdom shall be established forever before thee, thy throne shall be established forever. According to all these words, and according to all this vision, so did Nathan speak unto David. Revelations 22 verse 16 I Yahushua have sent mine angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David, and the bright and morning star. Isaiah 11 verse 1 to 2 And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots, too and the spirit of Yahweh shall rest upon him the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of Yahweh. Jeremiah 23 verse 5 Behold, the days come, saith Yahweh, that I will raise unto David a righteous branch, and a king shall reign and prosper, and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. Psalms 132 verse 11 Yahweh hath sworn in truth unto David. He will not turn from it. Of the fruit of thy body will I set upon thy throne. Micah 5, verse 2 But thou, Bethlehem Ephrathah, though thou be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall he come forth unto me that is to be ruler in Israel, whose goings forth have been from of old, from everlasting.
Isaiah 9, verse 6 to 7 For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty Elohim, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end, upon the throne of David, and upon his kingdom, to order it, and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forever. The zeal of Yahweh of hosts will perform this.